And now for the beef of these. Uh, I, however, will probably just <laughs> actually come to think of it. This is pretty good. I'm not sure if I really want to take this out yet. It's kind of uh, sealed in like so. So I guess maybe, uh, I don't know, I guess might might sort of I'm going to have to take these out because I don't really want to run the risk of damaging it. And this, this whole cup, this whole uh, base, it looks kind of cool. It almost looks like if it's uh, colored in, like, in stone, like they have. And these are all hand, seem to be hand painted. You know, Frank Stein, Boris Clark, 1931. Dracula, the ghostly, also 1931. So I guess these two old timers were just vetoing out back then. Except that Dracula, from what I heard, was the most uh, highest grossing film of that year. So. I guess Bela won out. And there's Lon Chaney who doesn't really look much like a, a werewolf. It's more like crazy Uncle Jed or something. He needs an aftershave. A wolf man, Lon Chaney Jr., 1941. And maybe just here's a slight back view of it. As it is. So, anywho. Films and Dracula. That's all of them. Right there. So, uh, hope you enjoy this uh, little video. Or something on the on these, at least Americanized Region One unboxing of a uh, of this collector set, and you could hopefully still get this. Uh, online either on amazon.com or on ebay for a pretty good price i got this for about a technically it was on sale for forty dollars but with expedia shipping and handling with it was uh came up to forty five dollars so pretty good price and uh, i ordered it on a late last saturday which would technically be on a, a midnight sunday so got here uh, pretty fast i would say and i'd have yet to see uh, most of these, I already seen the original classics. Dracula, of course, is uh, still a, it's very inaccurate. It's kind of like Disney's The Jungle Book, you know, a little bit inaccurate from the original novel, but it's been a uh, very most celebrated of all the Dracula films because it's just so keen and, all, and so nostalgic and hardly any effects in it. And Frankenstein is just the same thing. It got Rick Baker into the stu into the business and everything, and it's still a pretty good, okay film. Uh, Dracula, of course, a little bit more for the goth audience, I guess. This one's a bit more for the cut them up stuff. And of course, the original Wolfman, which doesn't really <laughs> look too much like a, a like a wolf back then, but it was the, the effects were limited back then. And although, as uh, as much as I still enjoy the remake version, I still consider this to be uh, the primary version. In fact, all these films have been sort of remade. You know, Bram Stoker's Dracula by Francis Ford Coppola. Murray Shell is Frankenstein, Frankenstein by I think Kenneth Brognon, which I guess was okay, but I don't know, it was a little bit overactive and it's kind of dumb. Uh, I still like this. I still prefer this version mostly because it's a little bit more open, and unlike the re unlike the remake, and it just explains a little bit more on the characters and everything. So that's that's about it. Hope you enjoy this drastically long video, and uh, see you soon.